Hi boys and girls, I hope you had fun on the safari searching for koalas and kangaroos. Well today we're going to learn about kangaroos and then tomorrow we'll talk more about koalas. Would you like to make a kangaroo art project with me? Oh good. Well you'll need just a piece of paper and something to draw with. I've got some gray paper here because kangaroos can be gray. They also can be brown, even red, even like a bluish gray color. Whatever color you want to make your kangaroo though, it'll be great. So you will need a pair of scissors a little later on and mom and dad will have to help you with that part. But let's get started. We're going to make a mother kangaroo and her baby. A baby kangaroo is called a Joey, yes, so let's get started. I want you to start, my sheet is really, really big so I have room to make the mom and the baby. But I want you to start by making a big uppercase U. Okay, that's gonna be our kangaroo's body. Now I want you to go to the left side and I want you to make a curved line going down and stop. And then on the right hand side, I want you to do the same thing, make a curved line going down. We are going to make the kangaroo's hind legs, those powerful legs that help it to jump. Now we've got to add some feet, so I want you to make a line going out and then bring it back in to the bottom of the U. And we're going to do the same thing over here. So we're going to go out, bring it back into the U. And there are our kangaroo's hind legs. While we're here, let's add a tail. I want you to come right over here on the right side and I want you to make a line going up and then make a curved line going back down. There's our kangaroo's tail. Well, let's start to work on our kangaroo's head. I want you to make a big oval up here at the top, a big oval, okay? Now, you'll notice I've got a little bit of space here. I need to connect my body to my head, okay? And now we're going to add some ears. I'm just thinking of ovals when I'm making my eye, or my ears. I'm gonna make an oval on this side. And now we're going to make our kangaroo's nose by just drawing a little line here towards the end. And I'm gonna color that in. And then we're gonna give our kangaroo some eyes. So I'm gonna make two dark oval eyes up here. And I'm gonna give my uh, mommy kangaroo some eyelashes here. In fact, I might even go up here to my ears and kind of make the inside, like make a, a smaller oval up at the top for her ears and color that in, like the inside of her ears. And let's see, oh, we need to add the pouch where she keeps her baby Joey. So I want you to find the middle of your oval and I want you to draw a line going across, okay? Now, up here at the top part of your oval, we're gonna add two um, arms or her two front legs. Remember, if a kangaroo walks on all four of its legs, it's going to move slower. But if it stands up on its hind legs, it can move quicker and it can also jump. Okay, so let's get those two short legs. And I'm just making kind of like a long U, not, not quite a whole oval, um, but those are going to be my kangaroo's front legs. Okay, well we are done with our mommy kangaroo. Now we're going to make a little baby Joey. We're going to make the same exact thing, but we're going to make it smaller. So let's start with a smaller U. And remember how we made the curve line going down and the curve line going down the right. And then we made some legs. So we're going to, or I'm sorry, we made the legs, but we're gonna add some feet. We're gonna make a line out and back in, and then a line out and back in. And while we're down there, we're gonna make a tail. So we go up and back down. There's our little Joey's uh, tail. Now we need to make a head. So we're gonna make an oval up here at the top, and we're gonna connect the body with the head. We need to make some ears. And if you want to make the inside dark, just like you did for the mom, you can do that. We're going to make a nose by just making a little curvy line towards the end of our oval and coloring it in. And then give your Joey some eyes. Oh, looking great. Awesome. Whoop! Oh, I need to connect that part. Oh, we got to remember our uh, Joey's front legs that are shorter. So we're going to do that here. Awesome. Now, this is the fun part uh, where we're going to make it so that our Joey can go inside of our uh, mommy kangaroo's pouch. So what I want you to do is I want you to have mom or dad help you with this part. 
Do you see this line on the, the mother's pouch? I want mom or dad to cut on that line for you. Now this part is tricky. So mom or dad need to do this part or grandma or grandpa, whoever takes care of you, they are going to cut. I'll show you on mine as best as I can. They're going to cut right on that line that you drew and then stop, okay? So now our pouch can open up. We can tuck something inside there, okay? Now I'm gonna cut out around my kangaroo's body. But I'm not gonna go right against the line. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just cutting around my kangaroo's body, just like this. Cutting around so that I kind of get rid of some of that extra paper. Now, if you wanted to add um, the kangaroo's habitat to your picture, you could do that. All kinds of things you could draw and get creative with on your guided drawing of a kangaroo. But I wanna show you how we're gonna put our little baby Joey inside the mommy's pouch. So let me get the mommy cut out. I can't wait to see your kangaroos. They're gonna look awesome. Okay, so here is my mommy kangaroo and I'm gonna tape her up here. There she is. And now I need to cut out my Joey so that he can go inside. Now, if you wanna color in your kangaroos, you can do that with your crayons or your markers. You could always paint whatever art supplies you have at home. Have fun, get creative. I know that my friend Cam likes to name his kangaroos, so I can't wait to see uh, the name of this kangaroo and her Joey. Okay, here's my little Joey. And now look, my little Joey can go right inside his mommy's pouch, just like that, and sit inside the pouch. Isn't that cool? Well, I hope you guys had fun. Join me for our next activity as we keep learning about kangaroos. Bye for now.